At the promised land, Parker opened up three cuts, totaling 19 acres. The good, the bad, and the ugly. After eight weeks mining, Tyson has just finished the good cut. Now he'll move to the bad cut, which earned its name from poor test results before finishing the season on the ugly cut. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. We called? We've got a lot of ground to get through in a pretty short amount of time down there at Ken and Stewart's. Mm -hmm. And we're a bit behind. You're gonna be down there on your own because everybody else is spread really thin. Yeah. You just hammer out the yardage as soon as you're fired up and rolling. For sure. I'm doing my best. All right, thanks, T. Thanks, man. Sucifer is a plant that requires a lot of maintenance and it definitely doesn't like running in the cold weather. So the harder we hammer it now, hopefully the sooner we're done and the less bad weather we have to fight. So hopefully Tyson can get her done. If we can keep Slucifer running in the bad cut here, 24 hours a day, I envision it'll take three weeks to get the bad cut through Slucifer, the gold in the jar, and then we can move to the ugly. Right now, I'm just prepping the wash plant pad. So just trying to move as little dirt as possible and get it done as quick as possible. This wash plant pad is very narrow, very short. We're going to be fighting for space. So there we go. Lucifer's ready to move to the bad cut. You want to spot me, frog? Yep. Pull, baby, pull. With all the bigger machines at Mud Mountain, Tyson stuck moving the plant with the 480 excavator. Could definitely do it with a bigger machine, but right now we need to make it work with what we got. As you can tell, I'm having to, to slowly inch it up here. Hey, 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 whoa! You really are at the edge there, eh? Out of space on the pad, Tyson decides to go over the edge. Wash plant will hold ya. We're about to find out. Plant in place. Probably want to go over this way a bit too. Tyson brings in the 53 foot feed conveyor. Lucifer's in place, the super stacker's in place. Just six hours after leaving the good cut, Tyson and his three man crew are ready to start running bad cut pay. Sweet, let's wash some rocks. Ready, frog? I think I am. Okay, go on, throw the first scoop in her. Just for you, the first scoop. Here we go. Very 
we go. Let's listen. Yeah. Now we're in the bad cut. Hopefully she can go back to what she does best, catch gold and wash rocks. What up, Dozy? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> so all in all, I mean, you know, we washed a lot of rocks. Yeah. How did it go? How did it go? Well, you yeah. want to check it out? There you go, big red, right there. You ready? Parker gambled $4 million on Mud Mountain in the hopes of pulling out 8,000 ounces. Let's see what we got here. 20. He needs it to deliver 400 ounces a week just to recover his investment. 170, 180. 190.45. Worth $343,000. So Mud Mountain again is a little bit of a disappointment. Next up, Slucifer, after its move to the bad cut. Here we go. Let's see it. 10, 40, 80. 100, 120, 140. Well, there you go. 170, 180, 192.05. Worth $346,000. The bad cut has delivered more gold than Mud Mountain, despite less runtime. That's really good for a first cleanup. That is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Probably one of the best, really. Yeah. And you've been doing a great job down there. Thanks, T. For the week, you guys, we got 382 and a half ounces. With the money that Parker spent, we need a lot more gold than that. All righty. Well, thanks, Dumit. All right. Yeah. Catch you guys later. later. Send Mitch back to Dud Mountain. 